Greetings, North Lake family, on Wednesday, April 29. Pastor Jeff here, again in the sanctuary, this time in front of the prayer banner, a, a reminder that this is a, a time when we need to keep up our ongoing conversation with the Lord. He's hearing from me often, and I hope also from you. And it's a, a great way for us to stay connected to the one who is the source of our hope. I, uh, I'm grateful for you coming to spend a few minutes as we update uh, North Lake News and our check-in time. I was scheduled today to be in California. I was scheduled to have two weeks in California after Easter, including a, a time with my national covenant group of pastors, about 40 dear friends and colleagues that I've been uh, partnered with for more than 20 years. And we come from all over the country, and we listen, we support, we um, counsel, we hold each other accountable. And there's an almost nonstop um, uh, action of emails and phone calls and text messages back and forth uh, within the group. But once a year, we try to get together in person. Been doing that uh, for a long time. Not this year. No. Uh, because of COVID-19. Instead, we have to be content with a Zoom conference, which doesn't quite cut it, as you know. It's not the same. And I've been asked to assist in leading uh, the virtual worship service that we'll have. And we always do that when we're together, including, including communion. And communion, of course, that sacrament is something we do over and over again as a reminder over and over again how much we need the Lord and need each other. These are cherished, life-giving relationships. This coming Sunday at North Lake Home Church, we will invite you again to bring a piece of bread or cracker and a cup of juice to participate in communion. And the message will be, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed are those who trust in Him or who seek refuge in Him. That's from Psalm 34, verse 8. And I look forward to that. But it's still hard not being together in person. One of our longtime members and newer deacons, Joe Summers, wrote to me at the end of last week. And here's, here's what she said. Dear Pastor Jeff, I'm sitting here this Friday morning after the storm, praying for many, and asking God in his loving way to give scientists and medical experts the wisdom to stop and defeat this enemy in our midst. Then I thought about the fact that this coming Sunday will be Sunday number six, that we will not be in physical North Lake Presbyterian Church. Jeff, I am so sick, church sick, she puts in parentheses, for our normal church activities. It really started on Easter Sunday when I felt so sad. I listened to your sermon twice. That afternoon, I just got in the car, went down to church, and drove around North Lake campus several times. I've done that several times since. It helps some. I must say that you, Pastors McNall, Miller, Lyon, and the staff have done an extraordinary virtual church each week for us. The really good coming from that is that we can listen as many times as we want. And I thank you all profusely. So I guess I will keep driving around our church, praying for many, trying to remember every part of our building, missing Bethel, that's the Bible class that she participates in, missing now, that's North Lake on Wednesdays for children, missing Operation Homebound, trying to be patient, missing it all, Psalm 46, verse 10, be still and know that I am God. In his precious name, amen. Joe Summer, Spruce Creek South. And Joe, thanks for sharing with us what you're feeling and some of the ways you are coping. And we're glad you are coping. And thank you for also making contacts as one of our deacons, reaching out to folks in the church. We appreciate that. I'm sure we are all anxious for something resembling normal as soon as possible. 
But I don't think we even know what the new normal will look like, what new routines or uh, safeguards will be necessary. While the session has extended the suspension of on-campus worship for two more weeks through May 10th, Mother's Day, we also recognize all the obstacles and the concerns about gathering in any large group again. And so we're trying to think through what will a phased-in approach be for, for North Lake. We know, for example, it'll be a lot easier to get back to work in the office than it will be to reopen for Sunday worship. And even after we do reopen, we'll still need some online worship, some form of that, to continue, because there'll be many of you who are wary of returning to the campus to worship even when we are able to open. And we understand that. We actually endorse it. It's why we've said, stay home and stay safe through these weeks. And so what we're doing is we are also in prayer for wisdom and patience and faithfulness and hope. Perhaps uh, the best way to finish this midweek message is with a thoughtful, compassionate prayer that comes from one of our veteran elders, Judy Etheridge. Here's how she would lead us in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your constant love, constant faith and enduring love. Make us aware of how we can reach out to others and be a true service to those in need. Be with those who face financial hardships. Let them gain inner peace that you are always there sharing their burdens. Be with those individuals who are alone and feel this sense of isolation so acutely. Let each one feel your presence and gain strength in this knowledge. Be with those who have to battle illness themselves or who worry about loved ones who are experiencing poor health. Be with the leaders of our nation. Guide their decisions for success in this battle with this disease, with the economy, and with the individual spirits of all of our countrymen. Most of all, dear Lord, be with each of us with your assurance that you alone are the one we can lean upon and find peace. In the name of your dear Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. Judy Etheridge in the Villages. Amen. So be it. And thank you, Judy. And may God's presence and peace be with you all. Amen.